Do you get colds and flu on the ISS or are you protected because of isolation? Did you get sick? A lot of people get congested, but it's not because of a, a virus or, or bacteria. I think part of it is fluid shift. Part of it might be like maybe mold, um, like an allergen, huh. but it's not like the cold or the, or the flu. That landing and that leaving of the International Space Station, but how challenging is it really? You go from 17,500 miles an hour to, a, to you basically lose all that speed in about, you know, five to 10 minutes is where you're bleeding all that energy. And it is, uh, you know, like I've said, it's like going over Niagara Falls in a barrel, but while you're on fire. And uh, when you realize it's not going to kill you, it's the most fun you've ever had. For the first couple of weeks, you know, my legs were swollen, sore, uh, the joints, the muscles. Um, when I stood up at night, I could tell that, you know, my whole cardiovascular system really wasn't used to uh, keeping the blood out of my legs. And it was almost like, a, you know, when you're a kid and you you turn upside down the monkey bars and you right. feel the blood rush to your head. I did something that, you know, many people in the astronaut office are, are capable and qualified, uh, just as qualified as me to, to do. And it was just more of a matter of being in the right place at the right time and um, being assigned to do this. And, uh, you know, it was just a privilege.